What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, we uh, laid siege to the Huron capital and they have sallied out. And this is... this is going to be devastating. As it always is when you're fighting native factions with modern technology, I just don't feel that it very well for them. And I really wish they just... Well, I was going to say, why couldn't we live in peace? It was me that declared war, so I'm not really going to have that angle. But you look at the AI and go, oh, just, just, can you not, could you not just peacefully surrender? It's a bit dodgy terrain, though. Terrain that Native American troops might like. See, this is like the, the only good place for artillery. So I think I am going to put some there. Probably put some probably up here. Eh, not great, not terrible. So then let's spread... Spread some units out. Ah, can't deploy any further out than that. Let's deploy some native musket men out on the left. One cavalry in the centre, one cavalry on the right. And my general's going to be my general. Let's just spread out my... Because say you guys have attacked me. But yeah, I really need to utilize my cavalry well. Um, their infantry, I've got, I think, I've got the feeling that it's just going to be annihilated by. Well, their infantry is going to be annihilated by fire by rank and grape shot. That and we do have. That and we do have bayonets, so. Okay, they're getting close enough now. Deploy the Colonial Light Horse out, ready to respond to the mounted tribal gunners. But it begins. Let's keep one unit sniping at their bodyguard. Yeah. It's. It can be a bit depressing when you're fighting native. Oh, medicine men. I hear bows. Probably from out here somewhere. There they are. Get them. Okay. I see you guys up here, so... Who's here? Is it the Iroquois that defended me? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're going to hit my guns. And they're going to row immediately.
Let's keep my cavalry charging through. Hit that unit of bowmen that's formed up again. Oh god, they've been not flying. But yeah, just keep rolling the cavalry on. May as well throw my general into the mix. The medicine men are the priority to get rid of because they're the they're the best units they've got. Let's charge them into this unit of bowmen, being picked up on the flank by cavalry with guns. Whoop. To be honest, there's no one for them to really shoot at. Well, no, they can shoot. They can keep firing shots off at the chief's bodyguard. Let's charge the mounted tribal gunners. Yeah, they've routed. Leave my general alone. He doesn't mean you any harm, he just means your people harm. Good, good. Definitely going to continue. Because they sallied out to fight me. That does not mean that they're defeated. Although these guys are all going to make it, probably. Speed up. Yeah, the musket men have done a smart thing. They've scattered, so can't really do much about them. Yep, so they've routed... These guys are the only guys left on the board who haven't been targeted, and I might be able to get them. They're close enough to my guys, and they're running a long way to the edge of the map. Chomp. Chomp. Yeah, these guys have been a bit more tricky. Nine. Seven. Five. Four. Four. Three. Oh, so they've been really clever. Yeah, one's over here. Yeah, two have legged over there to make it, and one's legged over there to make it. See, that's clever. Clever routing. You're going to be slaughtered. Then, you know what? It's not surprising if you guys suddenly decide, nah, you know what? Don't fancy it. I'm going to go a different way, do you? Oh, God. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Okay. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. So if I leave you... 
Votre Majesté Oui, monsieur. Mm. Oui Let's run you back into Edinburgh too. So I don't know. I don't know how destroyed all these forces were. But before we worry about that, let's upgrade you. Faro has land. Good. Faro, Faro. Let's do that. If there's a real chance that. Ooh. Or do I want to build a happiness building so I can expand your university, college? Yeah, it's going to go by one. Culture's going to go up by two, so I've got parity. New port emerges in Providence. Let's get some more furs. Okay, so the thing to worry about is... These guys. Right, I'm going to do this. Chomp them up. Destroy them. See if I can... Uh... Wait. Oh! Oh, that must have been a... Or did they just lose it to Britain now? Oh. I thought they still had that region up there. Well... That's an unexpected but useful turn of event turn of events. So these armies are gonna go up there, capture York Factory, then come back here and wait. Or maybe come back here and wait, because if Spain declares on me, I can beat them. And if Sweden declares on me, I can knock out Niagara too. Um obviously I hope they don't declare on me, but you no, know, you can never be sure. Let's get, let's get a couple of units of infantry be recruited because I don't know where they're going to need to be sent. I'll spend what remaining money I have on replenishing, but I can't. Can't even action all these things that have been built. Sigh. 35,000 though. Oh, yes. Chomp. Knock you down. To be honest, do I feel cheeky? Chomp. <laughs> do I feel... Because these are all completely unguarded, I feel no compunction with doing this. And being like, right. <laughs> so, in one turn... Because these are all the undefended. Bash, bash, bash. So let's send my rake westward to have an eye, have a nose around what's there. And I don't think there's going to be much. Because it looks like they've all come over here to fight Louisiana. And obviously Louisiana will get these territories back once I've conquered them. Because they've not been super useful as, a, as an ally yet. But, you know, maybe... Maybe. Yeah, you're on destroy. God, that's okay. That's been an interesting turn. Right, let's hit end turn. So I need to build in all of those territories now in the southwestern United States. I need to just build things. Build build infrastructure, build cities. No, that's the same trade as before. Like look. This region earning 5,300, 5, 1.6 million population. Do you want a one that earns 81 and one that earns 2,497? No. To be honest, I might give a um, piece, you know, a... Um, oh, ooh, that's quite handy, actually. Well, is it handier if the Austrians had taken Warsaw? And um, what I want to do is... Yeah, let's give Sweden um, a gift. You know, some jewellery. Oh, God. So they did go round to... They did go round to Hanover. So I'm going to have to engage and there's no question about that. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over Hold time on. and produce 
This is repair. Replenish and get you back. Let's fix the military governor's barracks here. You're slowly becoming Catholic. It's Woodstock farmland. Okay, before we do anything, fix. Build. Build. I need to destroy your communal farms. So grade your plantations, because they're just tiny little things at the minute. And then let's give you decent infrastructure and connect you with the rest of the country. Good. Charleston's quite a nice little region, really. Farms, you get a port and a building. A couple of, you know, couple of towns, two farms, uh, resource production and a port. Quite a nice little mix, really. Okay. Diplomacy, Spain. Have some, have some finest China. Did I get anything for that? Still mining well, it's because I've dishonored treaties, they really hate me because of that. As one in Egypt. You've already got a church school, haven't you? A seminary? Yes you do. So here I have a craft workshop. Earn more money. And you're slowly becoming Catholic. Okay, I've got lots of building I can do here. So I want Damascus to be a bit tooled up or ready to expand if, you know, the Bot Ottomans declare on me again. Which I obviously don't want them to do. Is that Sweden? Sweden and Russia, peace. They're allied? Wow, I need to conquer Britain fast. Bring you down to siege London, I suppose. Straight onto the siege. Um, these Nafi guys could definitely be enough to conquer them. Oh, I just made them run towards Ireland. Finish them off. Then do whatever replenishment you can do. And head south too. Yes, if I could secure Brit the British Isles, I think it'd be fun. It's caused a bit of a ruckus, because I don't know why well, I might have the naval strength actually to sail down here and just take St. Petersburg, but I'd like to take these two regions. They're small, so I won't get much money for them, but at the same time, I think it could be fun. That's Magdeburg raid. Oui, monsieur. So, I want to put on a... Oh, I'm going to have to engage them, aren't I? So, if anything, I could try run here. Nope, they forced the uh, So I wanted to get to this side and fight them this way. I want to withdraw. Because I don't want to fight them and drive them westward, because this is where all of my unprotected regions are. Because if I drive them westward, then their next move phase they can really easily capture somewhere. So I probably want to move this army up from the wet from the west to get ready. Yeah, if I needed to, if I declared war on Austria, I'd like to have an army to jump on Bavaria, on Munich, immediately, and an army to jump on Dresden and Prague, immediately. And if I took them, they'd just have Vienna. That's their only real strength. So it might not be as critically bad as I thought. Good. The forces in Portugal are starting to strengthen themselves a bit. Sloop Regenerator. Interesting force mix from Spain. Swiss Grenadiers. Got another navy in production. Oh good, another brand new load of ships. So is anyone going to run out of tech soon? Two turns, I'll get steam engines. I need to build an ordnance board. Yeah, that'll be a plan for next turn. 
Oh, it's the British Navy. Cool. They could have, you know, done something to, you know, stop me from blockading Portsmouth, but I guess not. I guess they're fine with. Oh, see, the handy thing is if they do move on Berlin, I'll at least have Austrian support. Yes, I will sell you and not. I will sell you a technology for a handful of cash, just to maintain positive diplomatic relations. Sometimes that's how diplomacy works. That's how global geopolitics work. It would be nice to people sometimes. But if I can land in the rear areas of Russia and expand out. Really crazy. See how Russia likes to fight a two-front war. Oh, they're just content to raid. Good. That's an expensive thing to do with that army. The Cherokee have suddenly realised what's happened. <laughs> and gone, uh-oh. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Okay, hold on. Building so that's, yeah, okay, these are the farms I've just destroyed. So let's go back to Portugal. Let's put you here. Just to lift some of the fog of war on what might be coming from the south. Ooh, Yorktown has developed. Do I have a. Ooh. I think I'd put a dry dock. I think that's what I do. Port blockade in Nice. Fine. Ooh, a second rate and a fourth rate. Charlotte and the Carolinas has been built. I doubt they'll ever get to see it finished. Let's move this guy out ready. Let's move these two infantry units of line. Down to Emery, Duires. Can I move you out of this region critically? You can! On you go, up to there. Let's bring Mahesian line down here as a garrison, and let's put a magistrate. We're building roads. Good, good, good. And let's upgrade you to an Iron Master's works. Let's make Moose Factory a bit more of a renovate, rene revenue generating territory. A new town, wasn't it? So I know I've got that port in. Yeah, let's keep building happiness buildings. I want to keep Portugal happy. Then I want to build a ordnance board to keep my economy growing, or to keep my artillery artillery tree um, expanding. Yeah, just build those just to stop them from moaning at me. Metal roads. Metal roads. Oh, you could do with building some roads too. But replenish what you can. Good. Oh, damn it. I must have accidentally clicked a uh, Admiral first rate. Admiral's first rate. Still, it's a pretty good navy. Send them over to Newcastle. God, they've built lots of military docks. This is a dry dock. This is a dry dock. This is a commercial port. Dry naval hospital. Naval hospital. Commercial basin. They are losing a lot of money. God, look at their moors. They, you can tell they didn't want me to get there. Maintain siege, I think. <laughs> That's going to be my plan. Cool, I'm going to get some tech next turn. Sweet. I think it's everything. I've just got to be careful of the Cherokee coming this way, but if they do... Ooh, Louisiana. If they do, I'll move. Well, this army probably swing in from the north. I'll regroup this army and send them south. 
It should be achievable. An army's coming over to shepherd the Russians away from my territories. Oh, I need to sink that fleet. Although, to be honest, wherever they're going to capture, it's probably Jamaica. And if it's Jamaica, then, well, I'm besieging London. I don't want to assault London. At least not yet. Um, but... Britain's about to be knocked out of the game. My arch enemy is about to be kicked out. So what I really need to do is be in a position to exploit the gap in... or the potential gap in naval power. That is the ideal outcome. Spain destroys the Russian fleet at the loss of two of her own ships. Perfect. It looks like the Russians have... They're a bit panicky about the Austrians. Oh no, here comes another stack to Germany. And another small stack to Germany. Come on, take Berlin. Try it. I dares you. They're going to be pretty upset when I start running around their rear areas. Oi, oi. Moscow. They're not going to like that. They're going to be very unhappy about that. Particularly the, the roundabout route I'm going to take. Yeah, they're combining their forces. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time. Oh, let's check if I'm tax if I'm not taxing anyone I should be. Aha! Wurdenburg. Good. Get used to it. Although it's actually your university that's making you hate me. Everyone else looks like they're being taxed. Good. But now we have steam. Steam technology. So do I spend it on steam? Do I spend it on mines? Which would you increases unhappiness, but you know, generally people start to get quite happy. Or do I use it to start upgrading my sugar plantations? Start pumping out more stuff. I'm going to go the sugar plantation route and pump out more sugar. High yield, abundant yield. Let's keep a port growing as well. Low yield, sugar warehouse. Ah, they're coming for Trinidad and Tobago. And their fleet is quite knackered, but I'm pretty sure I don't have a decent fleet in this theatre. So if it looks like they're gonna they're gunning for Trinidad and Tobago, I wanna stop doing that. And this oh, this is still not fixed. This army will be ready to kick in to capture it back. Aswan got their got their little building. Average yield gold mine, but still 2,400, which is a lot. Ah, there, yeah, they'll like me in time. Sickly, good. Just keep the siege counter turning down. They're building a naval college, but I don't really care. Have I got my... No, I don't have my own, but, you know, if they wait three more turns, then they'll build one for me. Let's get a craft workshop in Scotland. Or actually no, let's fix this commercial port. Then I'll build a uh, craft workshop. Let's do a bit of repairs if I can do any. No, I cannot. The flute is still keeping a pen, keeping their forces pinned in. No one's making any money out of that trade region. God damn. Okay, so drive up here. Good, all of my trade's starting to come in. But I need to recruit another another um, army in Paris. Oh god. Okay, where are they going? Okay, you want to take Annapolis? 
Oh, it's from Bengal. That's where the ter that's where their troops have come from. Take Annapolis. My army down south will immediately come up north to besiege it. And then the question is, do I capture Bengal? Because the Marathas will take it. If I capture Bengal, I need to get immediately offensive with my troops. Oh, the Spanish, where are they going? Holy moly, the Spanish took Istanbul. No, and they're still offering me the same deal. I'm not interested. No way, Jose. But there you go, the Austria was laying siege, or well, looked like Austria was laying siege to laying siege to um, Istanbul. Literally just read it and I already forgot. And Spain came in and actually attacked it. <laughs> and now Spain has it. But still, that's pretty neat to see the AI do that. And the OSL rushes, they're not, they're not quite sure what to do now. They're running around and being cheek scamps. Swedes are looking to capitalise on a weakened uh, Cherokee. Swapping off, swapping out some ships. Sweden's pirating, but we're allies. Louisiana. They get a little garrison amphibian. Oh, an assault force going. Yep. Cherokee falling back. Good, which means that that army is... There is to unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase your nation's export capacity, improving income through international so trade. See, the native must be cheaper to buy, but they've, they cost slightly more upkeep. So let's buy a unit of them to go kick the British out of my port. Natural causes, a rate. Ah, sure. I don't. I, it's mighty suspicious about that. Average yield mine. Yep. First. Let's get my field marshal of Europe out. Let's get him some cool armies. Gendarmerie de France. Let's get two of those. Let's get a, a Royal Crassier Guard. Let's be slightly more cavalry heavy, rather French after all. What, what are you? 24 pounders. The French invented invented with the artillery system a flexible new type of artillery warfare. 20 pound siege cannon, strong enough to take down the walls of a city. Heavy, okay, it's equipped with horses. Well, oh, it's very horse artillery, but siege artillery. Eighteen pounders. We still got. Hmm. So let's go for two units of eighteen pounders for sieging. Two units of twelve pounders for battlefield use. And then probably it's heavy horse guard artillery. Holy moly! Demi cannons, 12 pound howitzer. Yeah. Two 12 pound howitzers, and let's get me a unit of two, a unit of guard Swiss, eventually making it two guard Swiss. Good. First volume of Bach's well tempered clavier. Maryland lost, not for long. It's got reformed naval administration, which means I can now get the naval college. So this has gone to Light Infantry Doctrine, which, yeah, that gets me some interesting units. Now we're building the yeah, two more turns till I get the next tier artillery building. Lots of good high tier stuff being built. Not the barracks just yet. Just keep focusing on my economy as I've got a, as I've still got a choice. Average gold mine. High yield trapper post because this stuff will be exported via Moose Factory. And let's 
of roads. God, there's so much stuff to upgrade. Yeah, these guys can all use metal roads. Everything's all being upgraded. Cool, cool, cool. And let's replenish you guys, because you guys got battered in the, for the fight for Maryland. Sweet, let's combine my armies again. Good. So you're not super keen on that, me leaving you like that, but... Oh no, you're okay. But as... Whereabouts... Whereabouts is he? Yeah, this guy, after he's finished converting... Oh yeah, the religious unrest, because the Brits are Protestant, and now I've got a good chunk of Catholic... Catholic, uh, following. Um, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.